Welcome to SVG TV's news of Saturday, April 16, 2016. I am Osha Batiste with the headlines. Director of the HIV AIDS Unit for Rochelle Roach is appealing to the public to be more empathetic to persons living with HIV AIDS. Roach made this call as five new cases of HIV AIDS has been reported here from January to March 2016. This brings to the total number of reported HIV AIDS cases in the country to 1,503 since 1984. Roach says that too often persons living with the disease are scorned, but more compassion is needed. Well, I know stigma and discrimination is, is still a problem in our society and we could never be free because we have to educate the public. Unless we educate the public, we'll not get rid of um, stigma and discrimination. Persons with HIV themselves, they stigmatize themselves because sometimes they see a group of people talking and they just psychologically they think that the, um, that person is speaking about them. So we have to really educate the persons living with um, HIV and AIDS first and then we move towards the general public to erase stigma and discrimination. Emphasizing the need for persons to practice safe sex, Roach says persons should not be shy about, about protecting their health. People go about having sex and they're not using condoms, they're having sex with Tom, Dick, Harry and they're not taking care of themselves. So I'm advising persons to use a condom with every sex. If you're female and you're going out, put some condoms in your pocket. It's your responsibility to take care of your health. Put the condom on. Don't wait on the men to put them on. You yourself put it on. In other news, residents of Bali and other surrounding areas were treated to an evening of entertainment and the tasting of a variety of fish dishes as the Bali Fisheries Development Cooperative in collaboration with the Fisheries Division hosted a Bali Fish Fest last evening. The event forms part of activities for Fisherman's Month and is said to be a treat to all fish lovers. Chief Fisheries Officer Jennifer Howard noted that the community of Bali is the ideal spot to host the event as it is one of the primary fishing community here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The fishing community of Bali is one of our largest fishing population in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. A number of fishermen in Bali have been representing this country at um, meetings and workshops locally and regionally. We have been promoting Bali as one of our uh, primary fishing communities. It is an activity that we try to have every year during, uh, during the Fisherman's Month of celebration and it is something that the fish lovers of St. Vincent look forward to. Every year they will ask, will we be having a barley fish fest? And a, the answer will always be yes, because it is something that is now I think on the calendar, our annual calendar for our Fisherman's Day activities. Outlining a few of the activities leading up to Fisherman's Day, Howard advises persons to come out and support the events, especially the fish nights, as it is an opportunity for them to taste the various fish dishes. 15th of April and the 16th of May, we will have two more fish nights, one in Rose Place, that's what one, um, Rose Place Kingston, and the other will be at Kaliakor. Another area where a lot of persons, a lot of people will come together for this activity. activity. The fish night is a special occasion during the month of activities because we use this occasion to promote fish and the nutritious value of fish. We used to say it's a cheap source of protein. It's still a cheap source of protein, but we know it is a good source of protein. It is loved by all children, young adults, and especially the male population. A number of males, they go off on fish as their main dish. 
and Fisheries Minister Subota Season noted that the fish fest has seen a significant growth over the years as persons from across SVG travel to the community of Barley to witness the activity, highlighting that efforts are being made by his ministry to link fisheries to tourism. Season noted that it is his hope for it to grow and attract even more attention, especially from visitors. He further urged other fishing communities to develop their product so that they too can benefit from this venture. The fisheries sector is not only about the extraction of fish and marine resources from the sea, but in every fishing village there is a strong possibility for us to develop a tourism product. It is very important that all the fishing communities on mainland St. Vincent and in the Grenadines that we uh, prepare to seize the opportunities and possibilities which will be coming to us when we have the opening of the Argyle International Airport. We are going to see over the next few days the movement of the Fisheries Division in the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, Fisheries and Rural Transformation throughout the length and breadth of this country. We are going to interface a lot with a lot of the fisher folk and the cooperatives and we are going to get from them a creative and strategic plan to work with what we already have in order to continue to, ad to advance the fisheries subsector in this country. As part of the Caribbean Regional Communications Infrastructure Program CASIP SVG project, the government is inviting applications for training grants to its second call for proposals. As part of this venture, local businesses and non-government institutions are seeking to enhance skill set of employees in ICT are being provided access to grant funding at approximately 100,000 EC dollars or 37,200 US dollars. As part of the training program, qualified applicants will receive a grant of up to 80% of the total cost of the course, where the areas of training include computer fundamentals, introduction to system design, mobile application design and development, computer application for the office database design, web page design and introduction to programming, etc. To be qualified, the business must be legally registered with the relevant authorities here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, be legally and financially autonomous, operated under commercial law, and not be dependent on the government of SVG. Businesses must provide counterpart funding of 35% of the cost of the project, where 35% can be in kind or equivalent monetary amount or a combination of both, and accept the financial requirements of the program. Interested applicants can contact the SVG NCTI office or call telephone number 4562971. Information can can also be obtained from the SVG NCTI website at www.svgncti.org/casip/dot.